Hello everyone, my name is Harshit Gutino and I'm a simulation support engineer here at AVL. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about our tool called WebCruise and I'm also going to give you a short demonstration of this tool. So what is WebCruise? It is an online tool for integrated fuel economy, emissions and performance prediction based on our AVL Cruise vehicle simulation software. The main benefits of WebCruise are that it is an open multi-user web-based platform. It can be easily extended to user-defined models, user-defined missions, drivability tasks and environment conditions. It can also facilitate reuse of models and results in a secure way. It contains integrated post-processing and reporting of results. And it also facilitates a global user base along with worldwide sales support. So now let's move on to the demonstration. So here you can see the first page that shows up is the new vehicle page where you define the type of vehicle that you would like to simulate. So in this case, we're going to select heavy duty. Once we have selected the product family we would like to simulate, we then move on to the model. Here we're going to select a heavy duty standard vehicle. And as you can see, you can add options here, which could be user defined. Then I go to the subgroup and I can select specific data set for that model. And in this case, I'm going to select a standard BT 4x2 E10. Then we move on to the main characteristics. Here you can see the engine type and rear axle is already chosen. I can select other details for the vehicle, the final drive, the different types of power takeoff. I can select different gearboxes, different tire sizes, and of course different aerodynamic packages. Then we move on to the body configuration. Here you can specify different frontal area values and different gross combination weight values also. Over here you can specify the point A and point B of the route that you would like to follow. And then you can specify if you would like to take altitude into consideration or not. So here's what the profile we selected looks like. Once we review it and make sure this is what we would like to proceed with, we move on to certain drivability tasks. These tasks are predefined in crews and here you can see we can change certain user-defined parameters. For now, I'm going to leave them as they are. And then we go on to the Environment tab. In this tab, you can change the temperature, humidity, pressure, road surface, and driving style. So this is a summary page of our vehicle that we just specified. It tells you all the different data sets that you've selected and the exact selections for each of the different components. If that is correct, you can save the vehicle for future use and then you can start the simulation. Once we have the simulation completed, we can view the results. Over here you can see there's a nice report generated. And all of these are maps and can be viewed very easily. So let's take an example and look at the engine workload distribution. So as you can see, it's a really nice graph that's generated automatically. And this can be copied and pasted into your report. Similarly, you have results for accumulated fuel consumption. We have results for gradeability, so on and so forth. If there was multiple vehicles being run, there would be two columns here and a third comparison column 
and that would have graphs comparing the results of both of the vehicles to see how they stack up against each other and which specification for the driveline is better. With that, we come to the end of our web cruise demo. And if you have any further questions, please feel free to contact me. Thank you very much.